you know, I'm sitting here thinking, um, what goes around comes around, right? And sometimes we find ourselves in situations and um, we're like, I don't understand what's going on. It don't make sense. I was thinking back to a time where um, I was I was um, being cheated on pretty much, right? And there, there's a time where I was on the other end. Like, I was a side chick. There's a time where there was somebody else, you know, that was it was being done to me. And um, in both cases, I um, one case I just didn't know. Like a lot of times, females be getting mad at the main per at the main girl, but sometimes the main girl don't know. Like I literally was in a relationship with somebody for years, and I just did not know. Like they was out there making babies, they was just doing all kind of stuff, and I literally did not have a clue. Um, and we got to the point where you know I knew something was going on. I knew something was going on, but I couldn't. I couldn't wrap my I couldn't wrap my head around it, and it got to the point where we was just pretty much roommates. You was doing this thing, I was doing my thing. We just living together, and then on Christmas Day, I was like, "You got to go," and I never looked back. But looking back on everything that was happening well, while I was in that in that um, situation, the signs were all there, right? I remember one day, y'all remember when Blockbuster used to be open, so uh, apparently. Um, he took my kids to Blockbuster to get a movie, and um, maybe the side chick must have saw him with my kids and was saying something. My daughter was trying to tell me stuff, and I was just, I, I couldn't understand it. When I asked him, he gave me some, I don't know, gave me some some lie. And so, okay, that, 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 you know, swept, swept that under the rug or whatever. Then there was another incident where the tires was always flat. His tires was always flat. I'm like, something wrong with your tires. Like, where you, where you be going? You know, just didn't make sense then, right? And so another incident, um, somebody, I was staying in a trailer at the time and somebody kept writing on the side of the trailer. It would be, they wrote like B-I-T-C-H on the side, tried the side of the trailer. I'm like, well, I don't know who that, maybe it's the other person because I just moved there. So I'm like, well, maybe they got me mixed up with somebody else because I don't know why they would, they would be saying that to me about me. Like, what did I do to them? Didn't know, didn't have a clue. And a lot of times you think that the other person knows, but a lot of times they don't know. Now the incident where I was a side chick, oh, I knew. I knew because I, I would be with, I would be with, I would, I would be with the guy. He would be, he would be calling his girl on the phone. Scrape like that. Scrape like that. So how can I, you know what I'm saying? I'm telling you what, what you, what you do comes back to you. It does. What you put out there will come back to you. And you just be sitting there looking like, I don't know, I understand why this, but I, I had became so numb to everything to how, whatever you did to me. I just did it back to you. That, that, that's how I was, right? That's the, it, it just, it just made me like that. Like I, I chose to just not care. I chose to just be numb. I chose to just go through, go through the motions. And when that relationship ended, um, I had, I had, I had got a car in my name for that person. Never do that unless that's your husband. And then you might want to think about that too. I don't know. Teachers on. I'm just saying, I got a car for this person, right? And so I didn't want the car because I already had a car at the time. I couldn't drive two cars at the same time. Nor did I want two car payments. So, um, fast forward. The people was calling, calling, calling. I'm like, so I got to reach out to this person. They mad. They bitter. They whatever. Um, they was just talking junk. Like, like I was bothering them. I'm like, look, the car in my name. The people calling. Like, so what you going to do? I would, they said something rude, something nasty. So um, I um, gave my, I, I asked them to bring the car, to bring, you know, bring the car back so I can um, figure something out. Didn't want to do that. So I had to report the car stolen. So, cause it was stolen, cause you didn't want to bring it back, and it was in my name. So that's on me. Um, so got the car back. I had to go to the police station to pick it up. Pick the car up, y'all. Petty. Po he he, he had done po Kool Aid all on the floor of the car. Had condom wrappers all on the floor of the car. Just doing just just really childish petty stuff, right? Um, got the car cleaned up. Got the car back on the road, looking looking like it never look, looking like it's supposed to look, right? Um, and I just, you know, you just, I look back at all the things that I've done and I've been, I have been really, really good to people, right? You know, you treat people how you want to be treated and stuff happens, right? But just sitting back, reflecting on everything, everything you do, good or bad, okay? You do good, you put out good, then good stuff going to come back to you. You put out bad stuff, then guess what? Bad stuff is going to come back to you. So be mindful of the things that you put out here, okay? 
I was just sitting here thinking like, man, I'm sitting here like, you know what? All the signs were there. And sometimes we put blindfolds on. We like don't want to see it. We want to sit up here. We don't want to start over and we don't want to break. We don't want, we don't want to do none of these things that we know we should be, we should do. The signs are all there, right? God will show you this stuff and you choose to ignore it. But on both, on both incidents, it was just hurtful and it was, and it was just, it was just a waste of time. You know, you got to respect yourself. You got to love yourself. And stop being mad with the other person because you don't know. Sometimes they don't know. In my case, I just did not know. I just didn't. You know, and you mad with them for what? You want to fight them for what? You want to, you, you cussing them out for what? That same thing they do to you, they do, they do, they do with you. They'll do, they'll do to somebody else. They, they, they cheating with you, guess what? You get a relationship with them, they're going to do the same thing on you with somebody else. So just think about that. We don't think about that stuff. We just be so caught up in whatever this temporary feeling because it ain't no love what nothing what no love no way none of this stuff okay it wasn't it wasn't it just was not it was a bunch of broken people breaking each other even more and i'm sitting here thinking about man <laughs> the signs was there but i just choose not to see them and sometimes we do that right we choose not to see stuff but it, it's so plain it was so plain but it's hard to see the picture when you're inside the frame. It's hard to see the picture when you're inside the frame. And um, man, I'm so grateful and thankful for growth. I'm so grateful and thankful for everything that has happened in my life. Because it made me stronger. It made me better. And it gave me some lessons that I never would have learned without those things happening. I love myself and I respect myself. And I stand on everything I did. Not in it. I stand on it. Right? When you know better, you do better. I'm not here just talking to be talking. When I when I when I when I'm trying to when I'm telling my story and and trying to help young ladies, I've been there. I've done that. You just don't even know half of the stuff, right? You just don't know half. Of it. I have so many stories to tell you, right? I know I can help you. I know what it looks like not to know who you are, not to look in the mirror and not and, and just be just numb, right? I know. I'm telling you, I know these things because I lived them. That was me until it wasn't. I got sick and tired of the story ending the same way. All the stories end the same way. Me hurt, me hurt, me hurt, me hurt, right? Until one day, I was able to be alone with myself and get to know myself and love myself and put God first. I had to set the foundation with God, have a relationship with him, have a relationship with, my, with myself. He introduced me to me, right? And from there on, you see what you see, right? I didn't start out like this. No, I went through some stuff. I did some dumb things, right? I hurt people and people hurt me in the process. And guess what? It's okay. I forgive and I hope they forgive me as well. And I'm growing and I'm learning and I'm just, I'm so ready. I'm so ready to serve. I'm so ready to be of service. I'm so ready to continue to share my story, myself with the world, right? Coach J. Rose hot mess i was a hot mess man listen i was a hot mess i'm so grateful and so thankful for growth um that's all i got anybody um ladies if you want to contact me mom the group is meeting tomorrow if you want to um meet with us let me know we we in women's empowerment we empower each other we uplift each other we we, we help each other grow and be better <clears throat> for ourselves and for excuse me if you got kids for your kids as well <clears throat> but I think that's all I got tonight. Um, you guys have the most amazing rest of your night and getting tongue-tied. Peace, y'all.